Hi, everyone. Um, I'm hoping that it will allow me to go back and forth between the white screen and the um, webcam, but if not, I'll just do two videos. But with us not um, having class and um, genetics is a chapter that you really uh, kind of need it to have it taught to you if you haven't learned it before. A lot of you have had genetics already in high school, so working Punnett square problems to solve um, genetics probability problems is not um, difficult for you. But if we had been in a face-to-face -face class, I would have shared with you a few human traits that are what's called, um, they're inherited by a simple dominance pattern. So um, there's not many human traits that are inherited by simple dominance. You've learned about flower color and you've learned about um, short hair and long hair and you've learned about tall flowers and short flowers. Um, but there are a few human traits that are inherited by simple dominance. And um, I'm gonna show you two of them, and then I'm gonna use them in a few Punnett square problem examples. So I'm just gonna to try to teach you how to work Punnett square problems, um, just like give you a really brief overview. So one of those traits is called hitchhiker's thumb. And this is why I'm doing the, re the screen recorder. So my thumb is a straight thumb. If you if you had hitchhiker's thumb, your thumb would bend. It would have a bend more along this line, and it would bend way back. I, I'm looking at my thumb, and it looks um, more bent than what it does in real life. On the I'm sorry, but it just it. <laughs> I have straight thumb, I know that, but hitchhiker's thumb, your thumb is gonna have a really, really strong bent angle to it. And I'm trying to get mine so you can see that it's straight. The way I was holding it, okay, so you can see that I have straight thumb. Um, the angle that I was holding it at, I promise you, I, I do, my, I'm looking at my thumb right now, it's straight. But I'm just, if I hold it at the wrong angle, it looks like now, it looks bent. But if I hold it like this, you can see that my nail lines up with my finger um, and, you know, it, that it's straight. So anyway, I have straight thumb, which is recessive. Most of you probably have hitchhiker's thumb. So um, in a Punnett square problem, since hitchhiker's thumb is dominant, we would use a big H for hitchhiker's thumb and a little H for straight thumb. And another trait that is dominant, simple dominance, um, inherited by simple dominance. And that just means that one version of the trait is dominant and the other version is recessive. So um, another trait humans have that is a dominant trait is called tongue rolling. And most of you will be able to do this. I'm going to show you one time. Um, I usually just do this in class. I've never recorded it, but I'm, I feel like in this time, that we're in, we need some laughter. Um, but anyway, so this is the trait called tongue rolling, and this is what it looks like if you can do it. So either you can do that, roll the sides of your tongue up, or you can't. It's a gene. If you are a tongue roller, we'll call you a roller, then you have a big R, you have either a big R, big R, or big R, little r um, genotype. But if you cannot do that, I'll show you one more time, if you can't do that with your tongue, then you are a non-roller and you will have both recessive um, copies of the gene. So you'll have two little R's. Now let me see if I can switch. Now I don't know how to do it. So I'll just, I'll just attach another, I'll just uh, put another video with this to show you how to do problems with um, tongue rolling and hitchhiker's thumb for examples. Thank you. 